Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about the Sumter Cucumber, show you what that is, why it's a great plant, and also red yard beans. Let's start with the red yard beans and I'll talk to you a little bit about how I trellised them up. These are red yard beans or red noodle beans or Chinese red noodle beans. They come under different names but you'll understand it when you look. They're going to be these massive beans, 10 to 20 inches long, that really go from, you know, a nice thin sized tender pod to, let's see, a good 20 inches and the bean is starting to form in there. If you let them grow to maturity, the red beans in there can be saved and stored and they're used for red dried beans, bean paste, and sprouts. That's what the bean looks like. I ordered those online and they've been growing here probably 60 days or so. They're really easy to grow. They haven't had any pest problems, no disease problems. I think I might have three plants down there. Let's take a look at the stems. See if I can see. I go one, two, four. So I did these two seeds per cup. So these are four plants and I've been harvesting them. I let them grow a little bit so you could see the different sizes. When they get to, let's find a good size. When they get to about this size, the bean is not plump, you can just cut them with scissors and stir fry them. They are absolutely delicious. They have a green bean taste, but I think they have kind of a little more nutty flavor to them. There's some down here. And you can see how they've plumped. Those are going to be for the seeds. But they're extremely prolific, easy to grow, and again these are called red yard beans. And they're almost seven feet tall, producing extremely nicely, doing well in hot weather. We've had 95 plus degree days and they really don't have a lot of problems with pest and disease from what I can see now. And when I'm in Maryland Zone 7, it's very, very humid. The trellis is just a couple of eight foot stakes that I got at Home Depot. I cross them and I just attach some chicken wire on the back. They do absolutely need something to climb on, but they're beautiful looking, they taste great, and they really, really produce. And again, that's four plants. Over here, I have the Sumter Cucumber. That is just one plant. And I like the Sumter because it's been growing for a good, again, this probably put in when I put these in, 60, 75 days, and it's not really being attacked by pests or dying back. I do put seven dust or an organic dust on the stem to keep out any kind of vine borers, but it's not getting any powdery mildew. It looks great. And here are the cucumbers. And this is one plant. These will be ready to pick in a couple of days. And again, this plant has got to seven feet tall. And I've picked off at least, I don't know, 10, 12 cucumbers from this already. But I like the fact that the leaves are staying nice and green. They're not getting the spider mites and other things that tend to come underneath. It's doing really, really well. And again, this is the Sumter cucumber. And I just used two posts that I tied at the top and then I put, let's see if I got that, tied at the top and then I just put string in between and I fed the vine through that. And let me show you real quick, again, this is really, really green. It's being fed the same exact ways as my other cucumbers. And if you come over here to where the other cukes are, these are straight eights and pickly cu cucumbers, you can see that they're starting to wear out, a little beat up. Some of the vines have died back. Just not doing as well as a Sumter, although I do get a lot of production. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I wanted to just introduce two uh, plants you may not grow in your garden. The Sumter Cucumber is a variety that not everybody grows, and the Red Yard Bean is a beautiful plant, disease and pest resistant, really prolific, and it tastes great. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.